Well, it's a glorious day in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. My name is Jim Gray. I'm chairman of the Rocky Mount Organizing Committee, which is the official host of the USA South Spring Championships. Let me be the first to say how delighted we are to welcome USA South here to Rocky Mount. Some of those around here have worked on this for three years. The list is too long for me to read everybody's name, but this is a glorious day that's come after three years of hard work, and hopefully it will go forward from here at least three years. I want to thank our sponsors. There are certain obligations, financial obligations for the host city, and those were pretty much taken care of by local leaders who put up money to help us do what we need to do. The Nash Tourism Development Authority under Robbie, the Chamber of Commerce made a nice donation for the advertising you see. And the hotels, Doubletree Hotel, First Carolina Management Hotels, also made financial contributions. Jerry DeMeo, we thank you very much. And of course, we could not have done this without the Nash County Visitors Bureau, Martha Lamb to my right, and others. I want to recognize the Rocky Mount Ambassadors. Please raise your hand. Those are about a third of the ambassadors. Yes. This is a group of about 70 young people, most uh, from Rocky Mount High School and the IB program, but also from Faith Christian and uh, Rocky Mount Prep, who have volunteered their services. They've already stuffed the goodie bags for our visitors. They'll be at the venues over the next few days just extending the warm hand of welcome uh, to our visitors and assisting in any way they can. I wanted to thank uh, Betsy Hester and Nancy Ferguson and others for helping us organize that. This would not have been possible without Mayor Combs, who I'll introduce in a couple of minutes, Charles Penny, Kelvin Yarrell, Joel Dunn, and the entire Parks and Recreation group. And I'm sorry Dale Smith couldn't be here today because she is one of the, the early evangelists for this idea. I wanted to recognize Bob Matheny, the mayor of Zebulon. Where is Bob? Straight ahead, Bob. Thank you for coming. Um, as you know, starting tomorrow, uh, depending on the weather, there will be uh, many of the baseball games at Five County Stadium, which is in Zebulon. Uh, Bob, uh, I've told Steve Bryant this many times, but that was a game changer, having uh, that to offer to these young student athletes. And we thank you very much. Bruce Rose of Wilson, where games are being played, I think, as we speak, early games uh, there uh, could not be here today, but I wanted to recognize them. So without further ado, let's begin our, our celebration, our opening ceremony, and we'll begin with the color guard from the ROTC of North Carolina Wesleyan College.
Please join me for a round of applause for the band from Rocky Mount High School and the wonderful chorus. I also want to recognize, not by name, but you know who you are, the, uh, the media representatives who have helped to spread the word and the donors of uh, uh, not only the tennis center at Wesleyan, it was built in conjunction with this tournament just to help the, the overall effort of the committee. And we thank you, Tom and others, Tom Betts and others who led that, and uh, Vell Johnson and others. So I didn't want to uh, not recognize you. We'll hear now from Mayor David Combs, and then from Robbie Davis, who is the chairman of the Nash County Tourism Development Authority, Commissioner Rita Wiggs, and then we'll have the opening pitch of the 2013 USA South Champions. Mayor. Thank you, Jim. And uh, on behalf of the city of Rocky Mount, uh, this is an exciting day. And to our student athletes uh, in particular, we're proud to have you here in Rocky Mount. Uh, we're excited that you and hopefully some of your family members and along with your coaches and, and other uh, uh, fans from your schools will be here in Rocky Mount. But more importantly, we want to thank all of the people that have been involved in uh, this whole process of putting this event on. And it starts with a long list. But before I would start to uh, recognize some of our city council members that are here, I know I see Reuben Blackwell, uh, Lois Watkins, uh, Chris Miller, and I think I see W.B. Bullock over there. So we want to thank the, our council members also who supported this event from the very beginning. And uh, we're glad that they could be with us today. Thank you. We also have some uh, city staff members that are here with us today, starting with our, uh, again, ma city manager, Charles Penny, who, along with the council, were very supportive of this event and what it was going to take to put it on, because this is a big event for the city of Rocky Mount. It takes a lot of resources, and so we needed his support to do this, along with uh, our assistant city manager, Ann Wall, along with our parks and recreation people. And as uh, Jim has said already, Dale, uh, w who was here, is retired now, but she was really instrumental in this whole process. But since that time, we've also had Kevin Yarrell, who is our parks and rec superintendent, Joel Dunn, who is responsible for this whole complex, and there's 143 acres here, and Steve Warren, our interim parks and recreation director, uh, they've done an outstanding job of getting all these venues up to where we need to be for a championship uh, weekend like we're getting ready to have. So on behalf of the city, thank you for all of your hard work. And while Jim uh, Gray has just been up here, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. Uh, I think he looked at this uh, being a member of the 13 schools that participate in this USA South Conference and suggested to our travel and tourism uh, director that this would be a great event to bring to the city of Rocky Mount. And he was right. Uh, this is a great event, but it took a lot of work, a lot of uh, organizing, and the organizing committee, which Jim was the chair of, spent a lot of time and effort not only preparing to go and, and do a presentation to the athletic directors and to the presidents of these universities and colleges, uh, so it took a lot of time and effort from Jim, and I want to personally thank him for the effort that he put into making this happen and bringing all this to Rocky Mount. So thank you, Jim. And you're going to certainly hear from Commissioner w Wiggs in a minute, but uh, Rita Wiggs has been in and out of Rocky Mount uh, a, a number of times over the last couple of years, actually, when this uh, started for our, our announcement and all of the events and making sure everything's properly done. And I really want to thank uh, Rita and her staff uh, for the USA South Conference, and let's give them a round of applause. And, and like I said, from the very beginning, we want to welcome our student athletes. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here today. So on behalf of the city of Rocky Mount, we want to thank you. Uh, I know it's a major commitment to not only go to school, but to play a college sport. And we look forward to uh, not, you're not being just here this year, but next year and many years after this. I think you were in Burlington for six years, and we'd like to keep you in Rocky Mount for the next 16 years. So. Thank you for coming to Rocky Mount, being here. Good luck to all of you, and uh, let the games begin. Thank you.
Good afternoon. I have to get primed. Can we try that again? Good afternoon. Thank you very much. Now I feel a lot better. Uh, on behalf of Nash County and the TDA, I'd like to welcome this event to Nash County, Edgecombe County, and Rocky Mount. Uh, I'm looking to see if I see any of my other commissioners on the board. If I uh, have any here, please holler yourself out. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see out here. Uh, not seeing any. I do see our county manager, Bob Murphy. Bob, if you'll wave at us, thank you. Uh, we appreciate Bob's effort and everything our commissioners do. And, and in this case, I greatly appreciate our finance director, Lynn Hobbs, for helping TDA keep the financing straight uh, for this particular board that I'm in charge of. Uh, looking around, I do see several members of my TDA board uh, and would like to recognize those. And if I miss anyone, please uh, let me know. Ernest Neal, I saw you came, come in. I do not see you currently, but I think you're here somewhere, if you would wave at us. Uh, also, I, I saw David Joyner come in. David, wherever you may be. OK, thank you. And uh, Bill Latis, I think I saw you come in way back in the back. Do I have any more TDA board members here? Uh, there are 15 of us total, and I greatly appreciate y'all being here today. Uh, next, the lady that was just keeping me straight, I really owe a great gratitude to. As we all know, she retired last year, and when this thing started moving as fast as it did, and maybe our travel and tourism and TDA needed some help to keep everything organized. I called Martha, as well as the Travel and Tourism Board called Martha and asked her would she even consider helping us with this event. And uh, without any hesitation whatsoever, she jumped on the phone. I could tell she actually jumped uh, just knowing her expressions through her voice. And I would ask her to please stand up if you would. Thank you. And, and all of us to give her a big round of applause for being willing to come back and, and work through this event and, and help us as we move forward in finding your replacement. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Wiggs, I personally want to thank you as well. She is right here behind me. She's going to stand up in a minute, so I won't make her stand up. But I, I certainly appreciate uh, her involvement from day one. I met her about two years ago uh, when we first started working on this thing. And I know uh, we probably were to death at some times, Jim. But uh, we greatly appreciate her effort in this. Uh, I asked uh, Faye Bettyfield, who is back in the back, and Martha yesterday, how we were running on our occupancy rate, thinking uh, that things were looking real good. And Martha told me, she said, we're at 75%. And this was at 4 o'clock yesterday. And of course, I hesitated a little bit. And then my thought was, I didn't say it was, why only 75%. And I asked Martha, I said, is there any chance it'll go some during the night or tomorrow? And then I heard someone else say something in, in the background to the effect that what well, 25% of them were already taken by other people. So that meant it was 100%. So uh, I greatly appreciate all of our hotel operators and all the employees of those. And it has turned out just like we hoped it would. And Mayor, uh, it just shows that the study committee that you and I are currently working on to find additional places to bring hotels to our area is sorely needed and we will continue that effort uh, so we can continue with events uh, as great as the one we're having here this weekend. Uh, Dr. Gray and Commissioner Wiggs, uh, the little saying I have for y'all two today comes from President Johnson and it very simply says, despite the noise of daily events, history is made by men and women and the idea of men and women. We and only we can generate growing light in our area or we can allow darkness to gather. We thank you today for keeping our lights on. To the presidents of USA South schools, to the athletic directors, and to the many athletes, 
I pulled a, a little thing uh, that I read a few weeks ago from Greg Creech, a natural approach to mental wellness, cultivating gratitude. It simply says, I once traveled with a friend who had great insight to human nature. He said, whenever you go somewhere or anywhere, you can find something to complain about. If we travel, we can complain about lumpy beds and crowded roads. I certainly hope we don't have any complaints about lumpy beds this weekend. But if we stay home, keep in mind we can complain that we never go anywhere interesting and that there's never anything fun to do. In the Japanese language, there is a term that simply says own, and I'm pronouncing it like we pronounce it. The meaning of own in the Japanese language often includes a sense of gratitude combined with a desire to repay others for what we have been given. It is not just that we feel grateful or that we express our gratitude, but it is a sense of obligation that arises naturally from within us. We recognize how we have been supported and blessed by others. So through to the U.S. South Conference, we in Rocky Mount, Nash and Edgecombe County are grounded in the spirit of own. Thank you. Greetings, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank the uh, Rocky Mount Chorus, the band, the flag ladies over here, our others. I'm not sure what your title is, but I enjoyed watching you when I came in. We appreciate you being here today. It's always great to see young people engaged in such meaningful activities. On behalf of the USA South, I would like to thank President Gray and John Thompson, the athletic director at North Carolina Wesleyan College for all that they've done and for President Gray with his vision to bring this event to Rocky Mount. Uh, thank you, Jim. We appreciate it. Uh, to Mayor Combs and Commissioner Davis, the Rocky Mount City Council, the Nash County and Edgecombe County Commissioners, we thank you for the commitment you made to bring this event to your city and to your counties. To the Visitors Bureau, Travel and Tourism, uh, Martha Lamb, and all that are involved in that group, thank you so much. You've done an incredible job in preparing for this event. We are most appreciative to Parks and Recreation and Kelvin and Joel and all of the others, the grounds crews, uh, all of those that, that have gotten these fields ready and have done all the planning to bring the events and the championships here. A special thanks to Wilson and to Zebulon for the use of your fantastic facilities. Uh, we've already begun the baseball tournament in Wilson today and uh, it is off and running. So thank you very, very much. We are most appreciative from the conference for, for the organizations, individuals and volunteers. And it takes thousands of people to uh, host six championships at one city at one time. And so we thank all of you, the ambassadors, again, getting young people involved. Thank you all for, for being here and helping us these four days. It's a monumental task to host six collegiate championships at one city in one weekend, but y'all have endeavored to do this. And I think all the planning is now coming to fruition and we are looking forward to letting the games begin. They're just Two or three others I need to recognize. We have uh, some of our athletic directors here today. John Thompson from North Carolina Wesleyan, I mentioned. Uh, Kelly Johnson from William Peace College is here. I saw Kelly earlier. Uh, raise your hand, Kelly, if you might be down on the end. Uh, Jennifer Clay Claybrook, who's the athletic director from LaGrange College, uh, down here in the red jacket. And then the Greensboro College baseball team with Coach Matt Akers. Thank you, Coach, for bringing your team here for this event. These gentlemen here, thank you. These are the ones that it's all about. This is why Mike 
my assistant and I do what we do is for our student athletes. So we are so grateful that they're here. Again, thank everyone that had any part in the, these events. Thank you for all that you're doing for us. We look forward to our visit to Rocky Mount and your, your community, and we are ready to start the game. So thank you very much. Commissioner Wiggs is not going to get off that easy. Before we have the first pitch and the first hit, I wanted to issue an invitation. The city of Rocky Mount contributed and the county tourism cr contributed to the tennis center that will be used this weekend. We want everybody in Rocky Mount to feel free to come out and use those courts. We're proud of them. We want the city to come and see our campus and enjoy what we've done together. So. Anytime the team is not playing on those courts, just come on. We've got locker rooms and bathrooms, and we want you to come enjoy uh, what we have built there. So what we're going to do, instead of a traditional uh, ribbon uh, letting go or cutting a, a ribbon or whatever, we're going to have the first pitch, but we're also going to have the first hit. So pitching today to celebrate the exact start of these games will be none other than David Combs, would you take the mound, please? Ba bat batting first and last is Commissioner Wiggs. And if she, and I don't think she will, she's a good athlete, if she were to miss, I'll be the catcher and we're going to do it again. We're going to keep doing it until we get a hit here. And then the games will begin. <laughs> 